Good afternoon and welcome. If everyone would please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, and I'd ask uh, Councilwoman Burton, please, to lead us. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, good afternoon and, and welcome everyone. Uh, of course, this is our final town board meeting for 21. Uh, and with that, the holiday season is finally here. So, um, there have been some uh, unfortunate uh, increases in the number of COVID as we've been hearing the last few days particularly. Uh, so we just want to remind everyone that we're not out of the woods yet. And if uh, you haven't been vaccinated yet, please do so. With the cold weather moving gatherings indoors, uh, it really is important to consider getting that vaccine. Earlier this month, I sat down with uh, Dr. Christopher Rayo of uh, Chief of Emergency Medicine of the Catholic Health and Good Samaritan Hospital discussing the various COVID uh, rates and everything. And now that uh, the vaccine is available for children five to five and over, um, I asked him about that. And it was interesting in his response that, it was interesting in his response that his children are vaccinated. He felt that it was a tool. And as a parent, he wanted to, you know, make sure they were safe. Uh, with Christmas being less than two weeks away, just want to remind everyone to support their local businesses, small businesses. It's been a rough, a rough uh, almost two years, and they are the backbone of our community. And we're so blessed in, in all of our downtown hamlets to have many lovely shops and restaurants. So it's an opportunity for us to to support them. Uh, so while putting the finishing touches on your shopping list. Uh, just reminding everyone to shop local. Also, the last day to donate to the Town of Isop Youth Bureau's toy drive is this Friday. Um, so if you could bring an unwrapped toy to any of the locations that we've got. Uh, also, their coat drive is still underway. There are boxes outside of 401 Main Street. And uh, again, people are in need and it really does help, help make a difference. And lastly, our holiday light show is, has returned and is uh, being operated Tuesdays and Thursdays at Brookwood Hall. It's free. And um, really to the staff of parks, they really threw themselves into it, uh, decorating and, and putting everything out there. And it's a really enjoyable experience for families to drive through. It's open Tuesdays and Thursdays from 5.30 to 7.30. And uh, hopefully we'll see you and your families there. So with that, on behalf of the entire town board, we wish you all a really, really happy holiday. Uh, let us move then to the uh, town board agenda. And uh, we'll start with our scheduled public hearings for the board's consideration. I'd ask the town clerk, Olga Murray, to please read the hearing notice. Thank you. Today's hearing is to consider amending the Town of Islip Uniform Traffic Code, Schedule G, Stop and Yield Intersections, and Schedule J, Parking, Stopping, and Standing Regulations. Are there any questions from the board? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to uh, approve the changes, um, close the public hearing. We have a motion. Is there a second? Motion by Councilman Bergen, second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor? Aye. 
Aye. Opposed? It is approved. And there are no other public hearings scheduled. At this time, we will move then to the public portion. We do have a number of cards. Just to remind everyone, you have three minutes to speak. It's our opportunity to hear from the public. Uh, again, it's not a question and answer period, but uh, we're here to listen. And our first speaker, everyone has three minutes, and there is a timer, yes, right there. Uh, and our first speaker is Jim Schlau. Jim? Congratulations, Mrs. Bergen, on the election. Thank you. And uh, you did a great job on the uh, veterans for the television, for channel, I think it's 18. Nice job, good ear audio, very well done. I'm a veteran myself, I appreciated that. You also did something else that was quite nice on, uh, I think it was St. John the Baptist. Very good job. Thank you, sir. Uh, I wanted to bring up, um, Remember, I worked in the sciences my more, most of my life. Seven years at Stony Brook Graduate Chemistry and 20 years at the Merchant Marine Academy as a science instructor. I was dismayed to see the park on Auburn Drive. The trees are going down. Why would they take the trees down after the big fires in California and Washington and Australia and in Spain? These are very nice carbon sinks. They hold the water when there's a flood. Why would you do that? I don't understand it. And it also helps with the noise in the neighborhood. I've been here a thousand times about that. To give you an example, I got years of this. With the loud parties, let's see. Call 5.30, nothing. Call 6.50, nothing. Call 8.07, nothing. Call 8.35, nothing. 9.35, called again. 10.02, asked for a supervisor. You know, people are starting to show up at these meetings now because it's spreading all over the place with these parties. They're very loud. I would like to get a car parked out there with one of these uh, Class D amplifiers in it and see if you could hold a meeting with that kind of noise. You, your guys here would go out and shut it down immediately. So at 1032, a supervisor did show, and they shut it down and turned it up again. Didn't end until 11 o'clock. We had another one a mile and a half from the neighborhood, from my house. Didn't stop till one o'clock in the morning. I can hear it in the basement. You know what I'm saying? You know, people come here and they make complaints. I wish I had the complaints that Sayville and Oakdale had. That's all I really got today. I wish you would save the trees. Some towns are doing that. But uh, thanks for the veterans uh, show. That was really well done. Very well done. Thank you, Jim, and thank you for your service as a veteran. And to your point about the trees, uh, right now we're installing a new turf field in Central Islip, a soccer field uh, for our youth. There is some clearing that's taking place uh, on Lowell Avenue side of the park, but we will be replacing a lot of those trees with shade trees and also a lot of the clearing that's taking place is, uh, especially the underbrush, is for public safety concerns. You have to have visibility into the park, otherwise it's not safe. You, know, you have that Susan thing over there. Everything's getting paved over. You know, we're coming like Manhattan. Thank you, Jim. Okay, next speaker, Fred uh, Kornman. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I have uh, some handouts I'd like to give the council here. As you will see when you read the documentation, retired senior inspector, I hope you don't mind, I have all my shots. U.S. Customs Service, 15 years at JFK Airport, and I'm here to address a couple of issues. First of all, we need your name and address for the record, sir. Sorry. Name and address for the oh, record, Frederick sir. Frederick Kornman, 12 Larkspur Drive, West Islip, New York, 45 years. The Supremacy Clause of the Constitution very clearly delineates that federal law supersedes any state law if they address the same issue. We're talking about this bogus marijuana nonsense, which ex-Governor Cuomo managed to push through for recreational use. If you check the Constitution, as long as the federal law is consonant with the Constitution, states may not enact laws. So the present law is illegal and it must be repealed. That's point number one. Point number two, 
Marijuana is not safer than alcohol, more addictive, and is used first by addicts who frequently move to stronger drugs. I spent 15 years arresting people and dealing with criminals who also worked overseas, as in the first paragraph, in five different countries. I know something about drugs. And I can tell you that people who are addicts, just like alcoholics, have the same tendency to increase the dosage because the smaller dosage doesn't work. And then they go to harder drugs in the same session. Okay? Um, DEA has marijuana still on Schedule 1. Schedule 1 is for drugs that have no demonstrated medical use. That's another issue I'm not going into that. Okay? But this idea that marijuana is safer than alcohol is nonsense. It's a lie. It's an absolute lie. I can't say it's we're strong enough. And alcohol, wine, is classed by the Food and Drug Administration as a food item. Ask any chef or cook. When they make a dish, they want to make sure that a particular wine is served with the dish. And finally, I have medical evidence, which I presented to all of you, that marijuana is dangerous. The THC content is 65 to 70 percent now, and I have five or six percent, like in the 60s. And it's going to hurt children. It's going to be used at home. Parents who would not smoke a cigarette will bring this garbage home. And like I said, I've got three pages of medical testimony. So it's not just my opinion. It's my experience worldwide, professionally. This law is illegal and it must be repealed. I mean repealed. I don't mean modified or watered down. And any town that starts selling this stuff is a violation of federal law, which I enforced for 15 years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Gorman. And everything you've stated today is probably uh, part and parcel of why this legislative body took the vote to opt out of the sale of marijuana in the town of Iceland. Uh, but your comments are very well uh, articulated and probably should be shared with our state legislators if there's any, you know, move at any point in time to look at repealing what they've done. This certainly would give them the reasons to do so. Uh, next speaker, Andy Cross. Andy Cross, Facial New York. And once again, I'm here about the NYS real property law line on my tax bill. Although the last time it went up a staggering 41%, you blamed it on a downward spiral of the price of housing. The last couple of years, the tax went up and the price of housing also went up. So the tax should go down and it went up. It don't make sense to me. This year, it went up a whopping 15%. So what's, what's on the political flyer you sent to my house saying you were good on taxes and yet it goes up 15%? It goes up every year. Was it just a lie so you could get reelected? And if so, do we ask for a new election because of how many votes you got for a lie? The garbage district tax went up 9%. Why is the garbage commission still working? And why did he get a raise for a 9% hike? Same thing with the Highway Commissioner when, when he raised the highway tax, 51%. Why are these people still working with raises like that? That proves they don't know what they're doing. Are they just political, politically connected? Is that why? There's no way you can blame the increase on past town boards as this board has been on for the list forever. So what's going on? Anybody got any clue? No? Why are these people still working with taxes with increases like that? No no clue? Why did the tax go up fifteen percent when the price of housing went up? No clue? Thank you, Mr. Cross. Um, 
the information is exactly not accurate, but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> uh, next speaker, Irvina, Irvina Law. Irvina Lu. Irvina Lu. Hi. I'm Irvina Lu. I've been writing to you and to others on the board and in public safety so far. I represent the uh, Connecticut Point Association as chairperson of the Noise Committee. And we had some success this year with public safety. Mr. Pudenti uh, and Ms. Carpenter, et cetera, Honorable Car Ms. Carpenter. Uh, did a, a, ameliorate the noise issue that takes place on the Maple Avenue dock to a certain extent by placing guard patrols uh, late night from 10 to 3 in the morning. Unfortunately, the noise issue persists even now, out of season, from Labor Day on, it went crazy, and it is daytime, nighttime, and at 5 a.m. I don't drive down there until daylight when it's maybe 5.36 in the morning in the summer, but then you can imagine hundreds of cars and people in the town are aware of it. I'm here today to enlist the board. Um, I have been writing to board members perhaps a year and four months and maybe a year and a half to enlist your support to make efforts to ameliorate the situation. Uh, the noise committee has uh, proposed certain things that have taken place to an extent, that is the guards in the summer have taken place. We think that we need a gated entry from the second half of the dock past where the restaurants have reserved parking for their guests. We don't we want to disturb that. But the drag racing and the partying and the hundreds of cars that park happen about the place where there's a no entry sign to the end of the dock. We think there should be better, larger, and more appropriate signage, similar to the Bay Show Marina, which really hasn't taken place, although a couple of signs were posted. We think speed bumps should be there because to stop the drag racing, they speed like crazy. Um, I mean, I've lived on the point across the water for more than 40 years, and there have been cars that have gone into the water. I am surprised that these people racing have not fallen in. Uh, Funnily enough, there is one sign on the dock, which is so funny because it's no diving off the dock. That's, that sign exists. But there are no signs about the noise ordinance. And we think, and we're going to meet with public safety office in January, I hope, we think the noise ordinance has to be amended to reflect not just neighbors and neighbor noise, but public noise like this. Um, with the town attorney, so we're going to make efforts in that regard. And that's what I'm here to say, and I'm hoping that there will be people on the board who will support us as Ms. Carpenter and Mr. Prudenti for doing, so that we can ameliorate the situation. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. And I'm, I'm delighted to hear you uh, acknowledge the efforts of the Public Safety Division. They have been very diligent. But we just have Great. to remember, oh, yeah. but we just need to remember that it is public. It's a public space. So to think about gating it and, you know, well, eliminating access really isn't but a lot of something that's going to happen. So we need to be realistic. Limited. A lot of public parks in Iceland have limited access. Okay. Thank you. Um, Joanne. Pestolic? Pestola, yeah. Uh, my name is Joanne Pestola. I live at 149 South Connecticut Avenue. Uh, it's my first time being on the board meeting, so thanks for having me. Um, I, too, um, am part of the South Connecticut Association. Um, I have called the police numerous times, uh, probably on a nightly basis, more than once, um, because of the noise. And I, too, appreciate and realize what um, you, Angie, you have done for the town safety, but um, like Irvina said, it's really not enough, um, and I'd like to, if you guys could just listen to this video, uh, this audio, this is my neighbor, um, and this is at 3 a.m. in the morning, so you can hear the music coming from the marina across, it's at 3 a.m. in the morning, and it went on for quite some time, you know, 
until the cops finally came. But this is like what we're dealing with on a daily basis. My kids wake up in the middle of the night, they can't sleep. Um, I know there was, you know, I can't imagine what happens when there's no police presence or no community. It's a public, you know, it's a public property. I understand that, but like all marinas, I feel like there are gates. So that's something that I'm advocating for, and I hope we could, you know, talk about the resolution, um, everything that are being said, the speed bumps. I think we really help. So. We're listening. Thank you. Okay, that is it for the courts. Do I have a motion to close the public portion? Motion. Motion by Councilman O'Connor. Second. Second. By Councilman Mullen. All those in favor of close the public portion is closed, and we will meet. Uh, we will move now to the agenda. First item being the meeting of the Channel Vice Industrial Development Agency. I'll call for a motion for this board to convene. Motion. motion by Councilman Bergen. Second. Second. By Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor of close we are convened. Decorum being present. And uh, John, also if you would. Good afternoon, Madam Chair, members of the agency board. Uh, John Walzer, Executive Director, 40 Nassau Avenue, Islip. Uh, the first order of business today is to approve the minutes from the agency board meeting on November 16th, 2021. Motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. Who made those? I'm sorry. Who did I mean, no, The next item for your consideration is an inducement resolution between the agency and Lincoln Realty Development on Lincoln Avenue in Holbrook. Uh, this project involves the construction of 122,000 square feet of building space, actually two 61,000 square foot buildings, on 10 acres of vacant industrial land. Uh, the construction and equipping of this facility represents over $10 million of capital investment and promises to bring a minimum of 50 new jobs. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran. Second. Second by Councilman Bergen. All those in favor? Opposed? Approved. The next item for your consideration is also an inducement resolution between the agency and Gracewood Estates LLC. Uh, this project off of Spur Drive in Islip is seeking uh, sales tax only benefits consistent with our existing uniform tax exemption policy. Any questions? Motion. Motion. Motion second. by Councilman Mullen, second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. Okay, the next item for consideration is an authorizing resolution for the East West Industries expansion um, at 2002 Orville Drive North, Ronkonkoma, uh, that we induced at last month's meeting. Any questions? Motion? Motion. Motion by second. Councilman Mullen, second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. Yeah, the next item for consideration is also an authorizing resolution for the Designs for Vision expansion at 10 Orville Drive, Bohemia, uh, that we also induced at last month's meeting. Any questions? Motion. Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. I'll second that. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. Uh, the next item for your consideration is a resolution authorizing the agency to enter into a one-year agreement with MRB Group for their cost-benefit analysis software tool. Uh, the annual cost is $1,000. Any questions? Motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. Second. By Councilman Bergen, all those in favor? Opposed, approved. Uh, the last item for your consideration is a resolution consenting to a restructuring of ownership of BD, BDG Bayshore LLC at 260 Spur Drive in Bayshore. Any questions? Motion? Motion. Motion second. by Council Mullen, second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor? Opposed? Approved. And that is all the business I have. Okay. No other business to come before us. So I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion the to adjourn. Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. Second. By Councilman Mullen, the Town of Islip uh, Industrial Development Agency Board is adjourned. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Uh, next on the agenda is the meeting with the Town of Islip Resource Recovery Agency. I have a motion to convene. Motion. By Councilman Bergen, second. 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 By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor, opposed, we are convened, a quorum being present. Commissioner Board. Uh, Madam Chair, members of the agency board, uh, Martin Deloitte, 401 Main Street, uh, Islip, New York, and the president of the Islip Resource Recovery several items for consideration today. 
first of which is the approval of the minutes for the November 16, 2021, 8th Okay, I'll make that motion. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor, opposed, the minutes are approved. Next is a resolution authorizing the president to enter into a contract between the agency and the New York State Compensation Fund for the administration of the deferred compensation plan for employees of the Iceland Resource Recovery Agency for a period of five years. Any questions? Motion? I can make that motion. A motion by Councilman Mullen. Second. Second by Councilman Bergen. All those in favor? Opposed? Approved. And the last item is a resolution authorizing the execution of a management services agreement for the calendar year 2022 between the Iceland Resource Recovery Agency and the Town of Iceland for, the, for providing solid waste support services. Any questions? Motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran. Second? Second. By Council Mullen, all those in favor? Opposed? It is approved. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You too. Good morning. Uh, next item on the agenda. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, motion by Councilman O'Connor, second by Council Mullen, all those in favor? Opposed? The agency board is adjourned. We will move then to item three on the agenda authorization with supervised execute management services agreement for 2022 with the IRRA for the provision of solid waste support systems in the town of Islip. Any questions? Motion to approve. Motion by Councilman Bergen, second. Second. Second by Councilman, uh, Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. We move now to item four, authorization with the town of Islip Animal Shelter and adopt a pet center to accept monetary and non-monetary gifts and gifts of services from the public and or businesses for the calendar year 2022. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Cochran. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. Takes us to item five on the agenda meeting of the town of Islip Foreign Trade Zone. Motion to convene motion. by Councilman O'Connor. Second. I'll second. By Councilman Mullen. All those in favor? Opposed? We are convened. Brad Hemingway. Good afternoon, Thank Madam you. Chair, members of the FTC Board. My name is Brad Hemingway. I'm the Executive Director for the Town of Islip Foreign Trade Zone Authority. Uh, we're located at one trade zone drive in Mount Concord, New York. I have uh, a number of items for your consideration this afternoon. First item being approval of the minutes from our October 19th, 2021 meeting of the Town of Islip Foreign Trade Zone Board. Any questions on the minutes? Hearing none, motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Opposed? Approved. Second is uh, authorization to renew landscape contract with Milano Brother Landscaping and Design for a term of one year. Any questions? Motion to approve. Motion by Councilman Bergen. Second. Second. By Councilman Mullen. All those in favor? Opposed. It is approved. Uh, lastly, an authorization to enter into a cleaning and janitorial service agreement with Ogenet LLC for, uh, again, a term of one year with an option to renew for one additional year. Any questions? Motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran. Second. Second. By Councilman Bergen. All those in favor? Opposed? It is approved. And any other business? Nope. Hearing none, motion to adjourn. Motion. Second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor, opposed, we stand adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays to board. You too, thank you. We will move now to item six on the agenda to clean up and secure certain properties within the town of Islip. Mr. Walsh, nice yes, to see you. Supervisor, members of the town board, Michael Walsh, deputy town attorney, 65 or Main Street, Islip, New York. Uh, just some housekeeping, Madam Supervisor, numbers one and three are withdrawn at this time. Number one, because there is a new owner on that property. The team has filed subsequent to the notices, so we're going to have to re notice that. And with respect to item, or excuse me, number three, uh, property number three, that's being withdrawn. The fire marshal is working with the homeowner. Uh, so we're going to monitor that property very closely. We might have to come back before the board, but at this point, we're going to hold on. So we'll start with, I guess, number two. Okay, go ahead. If you could just speak a little louder. Oh, I apologize. Thank you. Uh, number two is uh, an application to, to the board. The board of the premises located at 22 Andrew Avenue, Islip Terrace. On this vacant unsecured property, there exists a hole in the roof of the back of the main structure, which constitutes a nuisance, nuisance excuse me, and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all the purposes all those persons with a property interest in the premises. Any questions? Motion. Motion by Councilman O'Connor. Second. Second. By Councilman Bergen. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed. It is approved. 
Number four is an application for the board to clean up the premises located at 156 Grant Avenue in Iceland. On this property, there now exists a vacant lot with high grass and overgrown vegetation, which constitutes a nuisance and presents a fire safety and health hazard. Notice of this hearing was provided to all known persons with property interest in the premises. Any questions? Motion? Motion. Motion, Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second by Councilman Bergen. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. Number five is an application to board and clean up the premises located at 227 4th Avenue in Bayshore. On this vacant, unsecured property, there now exists unsecured windows with overgrown vegetation. Litter and debris which constitute a nuisance and present a fire safety and health hazard. Notice that this hearing was provided to all known persons with a property interest in the premises. Thank you. Any questions? I have a question. Certainly. Go ahead, Councilman. Chair, wasn't this item just before us, Mr. Town Attorney? On a change of zone application, this same property. Uh, 227 Fourth it, Avenue. Is isn't this the old uh, Declan Quinn's yes, bar? Yes. Oh yes. And and didn't we this board just do a change of zone on this very piece of property to allow that that property? Um, Councilman Cochran, I know you're familiar with the area, yes. right? I recuse myself on this vote. Yeah. So so yeah, about uh, three months ago. Mm -hmm. So would this. Uh, Thing that moves forward today the resolution that moves forward today if we moved forward and boarded up and cleaned up this property that would go as a lien against the current property owner correct so when they went to sell to the folks who have the planned change of zone they would have to satisfy that lien to the town yep okay thanks any other questions hearing none motion 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 by councilman cochran second 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 by councilman o'connor all those in favor opposed approved Number six is an application to the town board to board and clean the premises located at 695 Broadway Avenue in Brentwood. On this vacant unsecured property, there exists unsecured windows and doors of the main structure, holes in the garage roof and walls, overgrown vegetation, and litter and debris, all which constitute a nuisance and present a fire safety and health hazard. Notice that this hearing was provided to all known purpose, excuse me, persons with a property interest in the premises. Are there any questions? You hearing my motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman Mullen. Second. Second. By Councilman Bergen. All those in favor? Right. Opposed? Approved. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will now move <laughs> to item seven on the agenda. Uh, the bid awards. Are there any questions? You hearing none. Motion. Motion. Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. 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 second by Councilman Bergen. All those in favor, opposed, approved. Uh, we will move then to item eight, option year resolutions. Are there any questions? The hearing on motion. Motion. Motion by Councilman Mullen, second. Second. If by Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor, opposed, approved. Next are the appropriation transfers. Are there any questions? The hearing on motion. Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor? Opposed? Approved. Next item on the agenda, item 10, authorization with the town clerk to advertise for public hearing to consider a one-year contract with Brentwood Legion Ambulance Services to provide emergency ambulance services for 2022. Motion. Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. Second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? I recuse. Um, all those in favor, we have four in favor, one recusal. The motion is adopted. Item 11, authorization for town clerk to advertise for public hearing to consider a one-year contract with Central Isla Papa for providing emergency ambulance services for the district. Any questions? Hearing none. Motion, motion by Councilman O'Connor. Second. Second. By Councilman Cochran. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. Next, item 12, authorization for town clerk to advertise for public hearing to consider a one-year contract with community ambulance. For providing emergency ambulance services for the district. Any questions? The hearing on motion. Motion. Motion by Council Mullen. Second. Second. By Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Recuse. Four in favor, one recusal. Motion carries. Uh, next, we go to item 13 authorization with town clerk to advertise for public hearing to consider a one year contract with Bayshore Brightwood as Rescue, Inc. to provide emergency ambulance services for the district. Are there any questions? Hearing motion. On motion. By Councilman Cochran, second. Thanks. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor? 
opposed, it is approved. Next uh, item 14, authorization with the town clerk to advertise for a public hearing to consider a one-year contract with Exchange Ambulance um, Corporation of the Islips to provide ambulance services for 2022. Are there any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion. Sorry. Motion by Council Bergen, second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed, it is approved. Next, we move to item 15, authorization with town clerk to advertise for public hearing for the purpose of considering the contracting of the Bayshore Fire Protection District. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion to approve. A motion by Councilman Bergen, second. Second. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor? Recuse. Four in favor, one recusal, the motion carries. Next, item 16, authorization to supervise and enter into various agreements for programs or events to be held throughout the town to be funded either by registration or grant funds. Are there any questions? A hearing on motion. Motion. A motion by Councilman Second. Cochran, second by Councilman Mullen. All those in favor? Opposed, it is approved. Uh, item 17, authorization for supervisor to execute a vehicle lease renewal agreement for a 2006 14 passenger Ford with the Suffolk County Office of the Aging, no cost to the town. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. motion. Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second. Second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Opposed, it is approved. Item 18, authorization with supervisor to ex execute a quick claim deed conveying property located at 141 Jefferson Street, East Ice to Michael and Joyce Amitrano. Any questions? The hearing none, motion. Motion. A motion by Council. Min Cochran, second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Opposed, it is approved. Item uh, 19, authorization for the supervisor to enter into a license agreement with Wet Pants Sailing Association to extend the current agreement for a portion of Port Pol Marina in Sayville. Any questions? Motion? Motion. Motion by Councilman Mullins, second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Opposed, it is approved. Item 20, authorization with the supervisor to execute any and all documents in order to effectuate the assumption of an existing note mortgage held by the town in connection with the sale of 38 Cortland Place in Bayshore. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. Second. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor? Opposed, it is approved. Item 21 is an authorization with the supervisor to enter into a lease with, this, uh, with a, into a lease with the Sayville Cabinet for the Sick for the premises of 24 Collins Avenue in Sayville for short-term loans of various sick room medical equipment to certain communities in the town of Islip. Any questions? Hearing none, motion by Councilman Mullen, second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed, it is approved. We will move now to item 22, authorization with the supervisor to enter into an agreement and to accept the donation of services from NSPC brain and spine injury to provide free spine examinations on first come first serve basis to town employees on January 6, 2022. Any questions? Hearing none. Motion. motion. By Councilman Cochran, second. Second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor? Opposed, it is approved. Item 23 is an authorization for the town clerk to advertise for a public hearing to consider amending the Town of Islip Uniform Traffic Code. I'll make that motion. We have a second. Second. Second by Council Mullen. All those in favor? Opposed? Aye. It is approved. 24 is an authorization with the Town Clerk to advertise for a public hearing on the transfer of the property located at 15 Holbrook Street in Bayshore. Any questions? Motion. Motion. Motion by Council Cochran. Second. second by Council O'Connor. All those in favor? Opposed? It is approved. Item 25, authorization with the supervisor to execute an agreement for the grant of a public utility easement with the OPRHP to construct, operate, and uh, marinating, maintaining, I believe. Marinating. Yes. <laughs> Get hungry. Marinated force <laughs> main. That really sounds good. I guess it's maintaining. A force main sanitary sewer pipeline within a portion of Southern State Parkway. Are there any questions? Hearing none, uh, motion. Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran, second. Second. By Point. Councilman Bergen, all those in favor? Opposed, it is approved. Item 26, authorization with supervisor to execute documentation exercising the town's option to renew its professional services agreement with M. Siminski for the second one year extension. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. 
Motion. Motion by Councilman uh, O'Connor, second. Second. By Councilman Cochran, all those in favor opposed, it is approved. Item 27, authorization for supervised to execute a renewal to its professional services agreement with M. Raimondo for the second one year extension. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion. Motion by Councilman Bergen, second. Second. By Councilman Mullen, all those in favor opposed, it is approved. Item 28, authorization to supervise the execute an agreement with John Jamada Consulting to provide professional services to the Department of Aviation and Transportation to remove Long Island MacArthur Airport. Any questions? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran. Second. Second. By Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Opposed? It is approved. Um, authorization with the supervisor to execute any and all documents to exercise the first option to extend the contract for HVAC preventative maintenance and repair at Long Island MacArthur Airport with commercial instrumentation services. Any questions? Hearing none. Motion. Motion. Motion by Councilman Mullins. Second. By Councilman O'Connor, all those in favor? Opposed, it is approved. Item 30, um, yes, okay, is authorization with the supervisor to execute any and all documents with Sky Synergy to provide professional consultant services to the Department of Aviation and Transportation for development, implementation, and improvement of the airport's air service development program. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion. Motion by Councilman uh, Cochran. Second. Second. Is there a second? Second. Oh, second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Opposed? It is approved. Item 31 authorization with the supervisor to execute any and all documents to satisfy the loan with Parco prior to 360 month period with no prepayment penalty and extend the concession agreement. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion. Motion by Councilman Mullen. Second. Second. By Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Opposed? It is approved. Next, we move to item 32 authorization with the supervisor to execute any and all documentation required to participate in the Board of Cooperative Education Services for Nassau County in order to utilize contract number 19 slash 20 045 X extension 2 to purchase vehicles townwide. Are there any questions? Motion. Motion by Councilman Cochran. Second. Second. By Councilwoman Bergen. All those in favor? Opposed? It is approved. Uh, item 33 is the designation of G GVK as the preferred responder as to its proposal for mixed-use development in response to the town's RFP entitled Central Islip Development Opportunity. Uh, this is the next big step uh, to the $10 million grant we were able to secure from the State of New York for the Downtown Revitalization Initiative for CI. Any questions? Motion. Motion by Councilman O'Connor. Second. Second. By Councilman Mullen. All those in favor? Right. Opposed. It is approved. Item 34 is the de designation of a North Terminal concept as a preferred alternative as part of the terminal narrative study for the Department of Aviation and Tr Transportation at Lone MacArthur Airport. Uh, this is kind of an exploratory opportunity. Um, there have been a number of public hearings and there will be many more opportunities for the public to opine on this as we move forward. Any questions? Hearing none, motion. Motion. Second. Motion by Councilman O'Connor, second by Councilman Cochran. Recuse. All those in favor? Opposed? We have four in favor, one recusal. Um, the uh, motion is adopted. The resolution is adopted. Um, item 35, um, the final item on the agenda for the town board today is determination that the proposed rezoning of the property known as the Island Hills Golf Club will not be entertained. Uh, as everyone knows, we had a DIS hearing. Uh, the public made it abundantly clear, uh, and this town board listened. And uh, the idea of 1,365 apartments uh, on that particular parcel was not something that this town board nor the community was supportive of. So this is um, really a, a statement to that fact. Uh, certainly does not preclude any other proposals from coming forward, um, and that's where we stand. Are there any questions? Comments, hearing none. Motion by motion. Councilman Second. Collins, second by Councilman O'Connor. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? It is approved. And that concludes our agenda today. As I said earlier, 
really wish everyone an absolutely wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Please, please stay safe. Uh, and on behalf of the entire town board, we want to wish Councilwoman Bergen good luck in her tenure as a member of the Suffolk County Legislature. Certainly, she will be so supportive of everything that we do here in the town. <laughs> we wish you well. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. A motion by Councilman uh, Cochran, second by Councilman O'Connor. We stand adjourned. Merry Christmas.